Welcome back to Millie Cockapoo. Today's video is on a topic that I get quite a lot of questions on and it's my advice on what to do if your pup is a fussy eater. <laughs> those of you who are new to this channel or don't follow us on Instagram then you may not know that Millie is a fussy eater and it's been quite a journey trying to find some food that she likes. She's now been at home for eight months and I've definitely learnt quite a bit of how to deal with fussy eaters along the way. So when you first get your pup you do a lot of research into different foods, different brands, different types of food, all with the hopes of finding the best quality food that fits your lifestyle and one that your dog will like. And I want to stress now that no matter how much research you do into the food, there's nothing that will guarantee that your dog will actually like that food. So don't get disheartened if you get a food and then you don't eat it. It happens to all of us and it's definitely happened to me. So going to the very beginning, Millie was on kibble as a young pup and that's what the breeders put her on. So when she came home, I carried on giving her the kibble just because it's advised that you shouldn't swap the food within the first few weeks of them being home because they're likely to have upset the stomach anyway from the stressful experience of leaving their mum in the litter. So if you're gonna swap the food to wait until later on. Now our breeder said that she batch fed all the pups, so she gave all eight pups the food in one big tray. So she had no way of tracking how much each dog was actually eating. And Millie was the smallest of her litter and I'd say she was half the size of some of the other pups. So I don't know this for sure, but I reckon they were a bit more dominant. She wasn't getting as much food as she wanted. And also she wasn't a big fan of the kibble. Because when she came home, she wouldn't eat it. She would eat the odd bit. And she was meant to be having about 80 grams of food three times a day. And I was lucky if I could get her to eat 20 at each meal. And I was hand feeding her in the beginning so that I could train her with the food and she just wasn't interested in it at all. Which then made training hard because I didn't want to give her any treats to train it even though I knew she would eat the treats but I wanted to eat a few. So it's hard trying to find that balance if you've got a pup that doesn't want to eat but you wanted to train them as well. But I definitely advise trying to train them with their food to see if they'll actually eat it. I persisted with the kibble for about four weeks and then I got a free bag of kibble from Pets at Home. So I switched her onto that one and she was exactly the same. She would eat a little bit, not much at all. She was still putting on weight though, so I wasn't too worried about her not eating. The main difficulty was actually training her because I didn't want to give her treats. And I persisted with the kibble route until she was about 16 weeks old, so around four months. So we had two months of trying with the kibble with no luck. I persisted with this until she was about four months, 16 weeks old. The only way I could get her to eat the full bowl of kibble was by adding gravy and chicken, and then she would demolish it. So that made me think maybe she prefers wet food, something with a bit more flavour. Because let's face it, you wouldn't want to be eating the same flavoured dried food for the, your entire life. It's got to get a bit boring. So I thought, we'll try a wet food. And I looked into it and I found one that was full of high quality ingredients. It could be stored in the cupboard and then once it had been opened, it needed to go in the fridge. And it came in different flavours. So we could mix them up each day so I knew she wouldn't get bored. First time she tried that, she absolutely loved it and she demolished every single meal. As the months went by she gradually became more and more fussy so she started not wanting one flavour and then another and then she was ill in December and she threw up and then after that she refused to go anywhere near the food and at the time I put it down to her not liking the smell of it because it reminded her of being sick and I still think that might have been a bit of it and then I persisted for a month of trying to give her this food and her not actually eating any of it. Like she'd maybe have like a teaspoon a day. Like she would skip a breakfast and I would be starving her all day. <laughs> and then she'd eat a little tiny bit at night and she started to lose a bit of weight as well. So that's when I spoke to my vet. They gave me the best advice for fussy eaters. And they said that dogs can go up to three days without eating. If they're being a fussy eater, they're often doing it to see if you will give in and give them something better, which I was often doing with Millie, especially when things like the kibble 
after a month of her not eating it, I'd then add the chicken and the gravy. So she was getting something better instead of the kibble. So the vet says to put down her food in the morning. So by this point, she was down to two meals a day. So I put down a breakfast and it'd stay down there for 15 minutes. Whatever she left, so if she didn't eat any of it, if she only ate a tiny bit, the bowl would go away after 15 minutes. And then I would avoid giving her any treats throughout the day. So again, this made training hard. I had to find other ways to praise her for training. So I used her toys instead. By her second meal in the evening, her portion for the evening meal would go down. And the same would happen again. So if she didn't eat it within 15 minutes, it would go away and she wouldn't eat anything else. And carry on doing this for three days. If by day four she still hadn't eaten, that was a sign that she wasn't being a fussy eater and waiting for me to give her something better, she actually didn't like the food. So having persisted with the wet food and then getting to the stage where she just wouldn't eat it at all after four days, I then swapped her onto a wet sausage. So brand that I buy the sausages from is Tribal. It's a sausage that can be stored in the cupboard, but then once you've opened it, it needs to go in the fridge. And I open it up and chop it into tiny pieces and then weigh out for each meal the food that Millie needs. And it comes in different flavours. So to begin with, I got one of each flavour to see which one she likes. First time she had the sausage, she ate it all straight away. Now there's been flavours that she's not keen on, so she's not a big fan of salmon or the white fish flavour. But since swapping to the sausages, she has tried to put on and be fussy a couple of times. And each time I've gone back to what the vet said of putting it down 15 minutes, then taking it away. And then again in the evening, and every time by the afternoon of day two, she will then eat a full meal. So now she's just trying to put on and be fussy. And I've given this advice to quite a few people who have got fussy eaters. And they've tried the same tactic of putting it down, removing it, and then in repeating, all the dogs have gone back to eating it unless they've had an allergy or they've actually not liked it. So it can be very disheartening. I know when your dogs aren't eating, but just be persistent and stick to your guns about not giving them anything else and you'll actually find out if they do like it or not. So I hope this video helps you if you've got a fussy eater as well. I know how disheartening it can be watching your dog not eat and when they're giving you the puppy dog eyes, but just don't give in and don't give them any treats or anything extra onto the food. Stick to your guns, eventually they will eat, unless they actually don't like it. And then by day four, you'll know and can try a different food then. If you've been through the fussy eater phase yourself and have got any advice for others, then please leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you like it as it supports the channel. If you don't already, then please subscribe and go and follow us over on Instagram at Millie Cockapoo. And we will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.